Let's make tarantula keep in. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> And welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott. These are the inverts. Um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. It does really, really help me out. If you're on your phone, just turn it sideways. You'll see the subscribe button down there in the corner. Now, today's video, we're going to be having a look at the at the Asian arboreal, common name Borneo black, scientific name Flaminga coelus arboricola. Now, this this species has had a name change, so it's previously known as the Lampropalma species Borneo black. So with all that said, let's go and have a look at my subadult female. So behind me you can see my subadult female and she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, these guys are found in the monsoon rainforests across the Malaysian Borneo and Indonesian Borneo where they experience huge amounts of rain. So when you've got yours at home, you want to be keeping humidity levels between 70 to 80%. Also, these guys experience temperatures of between 22 to 28 degrees, but it is important to note that at home, never ever let this tarantula drop below 20 degrees. Um, they really, really don't like that. Try and keep them at a constant sort of 27 degrees, 26 is a bare minimum. Um, they're an Asian arboreal species, so they do like to climb, they like to find hollows in the trees and make their nest or burrow or, or whatever you want to call it in those hollows. But it is worth noting that a lot of the time they do spend around the base of the tree. So if you've got a hollow tree, they like to go to the base. They like to dig down four or five inches and create like a little bowl home. But then that will reach up inside the tree so they can come up and do their climbing. In fact, I'll show you um, how I've recreated that in just one second. Females mature between two to four years and they can live up to a massive 15 years. They are large, they can grow up to six to seven inches in size, so they are a good size tarantula. Males can mature in as little as 18 months to three years. They can live up to five years and size range of about four to five inches in size. As adults, they will be almost jet black. Um, some males can display um, a slightly brown, tanned kind of tinge to them. Um, whereas all the females would be absolutely jet black and stunning. It's also worth noting that these guys are not a beginner species, they're not beginner friendly, they're fast, they're defensive, they carry some potent venom. So please get some experience behind you before thinking about getting one of these, um, because like I've just said, they are defensive, they are fast, and they do carry that very, very strong venom. So with all that said, let's take a look at my setup and what I've done for my female. So guys behind me is my setup. There's two pieces of cork bark I've got like this. I've also got five to six inches of substrate underneath her and she has as you can see burrowed down and created a burrow underneath her cork bark but she will also come up this cork bark um, looking for food. There's a water bowl in there. Now to increase the humidity um, that substrate isn't choir, it is actually peat, which I found to hold moisture a lot, lot better. And I will spray the I will spray this enclosure down quite heavily once a week. And then once a week when I top up the water bowl, I'll also give her a very, very light mist then. Just to just to help raise that humidity levels, just to keep it around the 70 to 80 percent mark. So guys, that was the care for the Flamingo Kylus Boricola. Um, again, thank you so so much for watching this video, and as always, we shall. See you again on the next one.